folks, welcome back to another Some Assembly Required video with yours truly, Sam Healy. Now, this time we're going to be taking a look at Yggdrasil Chronicles. Now, this is a brand new title that just came out from Essen, and we have not, I have not played this yet, but there is a really cool component in here, the... Uh, <laughs> the all tree Yggdrasil is in here and you have to put it together so I thought it would be pretty cool to go through that process and I also want to try to see if it's going to be able to be uh, if it has to be fully disassembled to fit back in the box or that kind of stuff that's um, I want to answer that question so uh, some assembly required definitely is true in this case so let's go ahead and get down to the table all right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna follow the directions that come in the rule book and take all of this and make a tree out of it. Uh, so as you can see, there's just a lot of pieces. Here are the trunks, uh, the, the, the pieces that make the trunk of the tree, and then there's different levels of the tree, and all of the different levels have different things going on with them. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so first things first is we start with the bottom level of the tree, and that is this one right here. And then there's going to be a lot of stuff that is uh, tacked into each side. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. I know right here we have this little long piece, and that's going to go right in here like this. So just like that. And then... Um, that has another piece that sits on top of it like this right here. And those two pieces fit down in between like that. So that is one side of the board there, like so. And then this little doohickey is going to be going right here, but it looks like these two have to go on there first. So we're going to slide that on right there. And then this gets slid on right here as well. And... Uh, Let's see here. It's the Does it matter? I bet you it matters. Which, yeah, it does. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. The actual artwork on here matches. Yeah. Good job. I like that. All right, so there's that. And then this piece fits down right on top of there like so so that's a nice little snug fit too so that fits there as well so that part of the board is done and now we have this long piece is going to go right here it looks like just like that and the artwork matches so that's good i mean it's it's a little bit off but it still matches pretty well and i think this one right here uh goes uh, over here like that so that's good is that the right side up yeah I think so all right good and then we've got some other pieces over here that look like uh, we got one there and one here so um, looks like this one's gonna go over here like that and then this one will come over here like so and that works and I think that is the bottom of the tree so that one's done we can set that aside we'll come back to it in just a minute all right now we're going to be doing the mid level of the board and that's going to need this piece and then it's also going to need these three pieces and it looks like one uh, two, hmm, maybe these, yeah, it looks like those go over that way, and it looks like it needs these, one, two, three, four, yeah, so we need all of these pieces, so what it does say is that we need to have these guys on top of each other like that, along with this one on top of this like that. So, let's see if we can get that to line up correctly. And it looks like that's correct. And I think this is going to go over here like this. Alright. So this will actually go underneath. Like so. 
Oh wow, man, this is gonna, this is gonna be like an exact fit. That is something else. All right, so that's gonna fit on there like that, as you can see there. And it looks like we've got a couple long ones. Which one goes where? Hmm. It looks like this one comes over here. And we'll go like so. Yeah. And then looks like this one will come over here. Well, let me see. Yeah. Looks like this will fit on here. Ah, uh, come on. Just like that. So that'll hold that part of the board in. That is really neato Frito, man. All right, and then looks like this one. Hmm. Oh, gee whiz, I don't know which one goes where. I'm just trying to get it to match the uh, artwork. That's my main thing here. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it really doesn't matter a whole lot, but I'm just trying to make it match the artwork. That's all. Well, this one's being a little, yeah, that was a little on my fault. But there's that. And then this one will go on there just like that. There we go. So that is pretty neat. If you look there, it has places for you to, uh, you know, slide things in there, uh, holders, something like that. So that's a pretty neat construction right there. I like that. But that's not all because then we also have this little piece over here that needs to go on as well. So we have, looks like this is gonna go on here like that. Just like that, and then this one will go on just like this. And this will fit down right on top of it. And just like that. And again, I love how the artwork just kind of melds into that. How, how it does that, I really like that a lot. So. That is the mid-level. All right, so now we're going to actually assemble the trunk of the tree, and I believe this is part A. Um, and then it looks like this will be part B, and this is part C right here. Um, so, looks like... All right, so B is gonna be taken, and A is going to up like this and be slid into this one like that. Is that right? No. Like this one? That looks like it. And then I think C gets put right up in there like that. Okay. So that's how everything I think fits together as far as the actual tree is concerned. Um, everything just kind of slides in together and meets in the middle. So now that we have that tree trunk put together, we have to come down with this little guy and it should kind of <laughs> be a little difficult with us, but that should come and fall right down just like that. So now 
move this back a little bit. It has a little bit of stability and it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good so far. It's got all the different colors matched up, so I think we're good there. Next is going to be this little piece right here. And it looks like I gotta turn this around so that it faces me the direction of the direction so that I don't get confused. Um, looks like this is what it's doing here. just like that. And that's going to hold everything together a little bit more. Uh, looks like this is going to be next. And that is going to go on just like this, I think. And be held on there. Then, this little guy, I believe, is just going to sit on top. I get the correction. Looks like it's going to be like that. Just like so. Alright, so that's that. Then we also have these little guys that are going to be supports, it looks like. I'm going to say like that. And then this one's going to go like that. Well, those aren't the right colors, are they? really matters that goes like that and so that is Idrisil the world tree um, that's pretty cool man I had fun putting that together now uh, it does say that um, these levels here don't need to be uh, disassembled for storage neither does this level here and of course this level here doesn't need to be uh, disassembled either however um, as you saw me using the rule book here, all of this doesn't have to be done every time, but this will have to be done every time uh, that you set the game up. So there's that. Uh, I think that the trunk is going to have to lay flat. It won't be able to be stay uh, to, to stay in there or anything like that. Um, so there is that, but it looks cool and it, it's definitely going to draw attention to itself. So that's about it for the World Tree Yggdrasil uh, that comes in Yggdrasil Chronicles. Uh, it was simple to put together. The directions were easy to follow. So that's a good thing. Uh, I think that it looks great. I, I'm not disappointed at all with how this went together. Uh, I think it's a little fragile, but I don't think it's going to matter that much during gameplay. We'll wait and see. But now that I put it together, I really want to get this to the table. So uh, thanks for joining me. I certainly appreciate it. We'll see See you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.